Wa na'udhu billahi min ash-shaitani r-rajeem, bismillahi r-rahmani r-raheem, wa ati Allah ati Rasulu ulul amri minkum, wa na'abduka la jisaw, da'ifu, miskinu, zalim wa jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, Ya Wahab, Ya Wahab, Ya Wahab, Ya Musabibul Asbab, Ya Mufatiha Abwaab, Ya Musabibul Asbab, that Allah is the one whom causes all conditions. And next part of that du'a, Mufatiha Abwaab. And Allah is the only one whom is going to open a door and two doors. In our life as a reminder always for myself is that every condition that comes to us as one whom believes and they ask, oh Shaykh talk about fiqr, this is all the haqqaiqs of fiqr, that as soon as we accepted Islam and said, La ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu that we accepted Allah and that we bear witness with our tongue not yet with the heart and not yet even with the vision of the heart that Sayyidina Muhammad is a messenger of Allah But when we bear witness we're acknowledging that everything is from Allah Ya Musabbibun Asbab that he put me in every type of condition so that to extract my character. Because we are the people of muhasiba and taking an accounting. We said meditation is the highest stage of Islam, not the entry. Muraqaba, tafakkur, to stop and to contemplate tadhakkir, to remember what Allah gave us from the day of promises, not this dunya. These are the end stages of perfection but the book is being read in reverse because there's no more time. They're opening the last chapter of our practices and saying, read from here time is finished. If they get it, they get it, if they don't then pray for them. Musabbibul asbab that Allah the one who causes every condition in my life and that's the secret of division. He says, I want you to know about yourself because you may have a very high thinking of yourself. Not what you say to the people, you say, oh I'm nothing, I'm no one. But you may think you're very high and the divider comes, the one whom extracts our reality. Says that you think you're gold nugget, I'm going to put a fire on you. Musabbibul asba is the fire. Should be versed differently in Arabic. The one whom puts fire on you. Because every condition is a fiery condition. Every condition that comes into our life, it is, is meant to extract a reaction. And there lies the secret of our reality. The one whom journals, the one whom is successful on the path, no time left, journals his reaction or her reactions to everything. The fire is not important. In this laboratory of Allah whatever caused the fire of your reaction is not important. Allah used propane, used liquid gas, used this, use a match, it's not important for you. That was just something that would speed up the process in chemistry. Means whoever gave you a rise and got you angry, got you riled up, get you all emotional, that's from Allah Those whom we love most. Those whom we brought dearest into our reality, they hurt the most and that's where Allah will push the hardest. Test doesn't come from people you don't care about, don't know, don't have anything to do with. That's not a fire for you, that's like throwing ice cubes at you. 
test is when those whom are deep within your being, within your breath and your existence and Allah pushes them to get your reaction. In this time of difficulty this reaction has two doors that are opening on this earth. Mufatiha Wab is that Allah says that if every time I'm going to test you and the character going to come out bad and the character is going to come out aggressive and angry and vile, you take away every Divinely beauty and light and this is the law of opposite. If you pull the light from your existence by rule of opposite you are now devoiding yourself of light. When you fill yourself with light and good actions and good character, the angels are around, the fragrances of the Divine are around, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is around. When the test comes and the character goes negative, goes angry, goes vile, goes everything against what Allah wants and we're extracting the wrong character, then Allah says, look, do you see that when this testing comes this is the character you exhibit. If enough times it exhibits the door of that reality opens and now you take a path in that direction. The path that you wanted of realities and, and higher self and higher realities is a different door. And that's the reason for the testing. I want to get in to the school of realities and you're sitting and taking a test. If you fail Allah's rahmah, take it again. You fail Allah's rahmah, take it again. And the tests keep coming but now the zaman is ending, time is ending. And when the test comes, we fail, we fail, we fail, Allah opens the door and says, this is now the door of your destiny. If it's not rising to the better character and to the noble characteristics and to the world of light and you're devoiding yourself of light, becoming angered, becoming angered, well then you can see that on YouTube, Facebook and every other, even the news doesn't show those videos. Everyone's angry, violent, yelling, screaming, screaming crazy like they've lost themselves. Even their color changes because they take on and exhibit the satanic characteristics. Then clearly Allah is showing that door has opened, that becomes the destiny of that servant. Because of the negativity, because of the bad uh, reactions, they're choosing in that direction. Tariqah then came to teach, no, you have to know that Allah's testing you, doesn't matter who's burning you, Allah's testing you, Allah's the flame. And He's going to make the dearest and nearest to ignite the firecracker. Then did you have your practices, did you go back and make your wudu, did you go back and pray your two rakahs, did you go back and put your head onto sujood asking Allah give me sabr, give me sabr. Ya musabib al-asbab, ya mufatiha abwab, ya muqalib al-qulubi wal absar, ya dalil al-mutahayrin, ya ghiyath al-mustaghithin, ya hayyu, ya qayyum, ya dul jalali wal ikram, ufaudu amri in Allah. In Allahu basirun bihi. But these are big codes. As soon as you say, Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum, you're asking to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the atomic reality of haqq that Prophet is high. Allah doesn't have life and death. You're asking for the ruhaniyat, that's the secret of jauka. When Allah said in Holy Qur'an that when you've oppressed yourself, jauka, go, go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Then how awliyaullah were taught to go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad jauka. Ya hayu ya qayyum that you the one whom represent the haqq of Allah and that your coding is high. You are the oceans of al-hayat, when Allah wanted to be known created your hayat. 
and Qayyum made you to be eternal that nobody, nobody supports you but Allah Ya Janab al-Haqq, I'm asking in your presence as Allah ordered me, I'm an oppressor to myself. I'm asking Allah's forgiveness, I'm asking your forgiveness, I'm asking your madad and your support. If you're not using these tools that the tariq is, is teaching us and we fall into child, we fall into child, we fall into a hole and a hole and a hole, well now everyone should begin to start having dreams of the dajjal. He's walking this earth, his system has been here for a long time. If you have a dream where someone in a white suit comes and nice hair but you feel petrified. And that one has a whip in their hand and whips you, every time he hits you half your brain will be gone. Pay attention to what's coming, you've been warned. If you don't use, you don't use the tools that Allah gave to us, you're showing Allah you don't care for His teachings. And if you don't care there's one whom is waiting and he is the one who rounds up the animals. Even to see him in a dream you're in the zoo, he considers you a potential creature that he's going to control and that he's going to manipulate. Either they want to turn you into one of them or they want to eat you. Their food is suffering and their drink is pain, they will eat and drink your existence. They won't kill you, they torment you for an existence that's beyond imagination. Either they turn you or they eat you into their team. If you choose to be with Rahman, well start using his tools. Meditate, contemplate, understand when the fire coming, why they're saying because this nothing were about to open upon this earth, immense negativity. So much negativity people don't even understand. There's so much bad creatures around us all the time now that people can't even understand what effect this has on us. They have released horrific creatures all around us, all around. It's not even something that can be described by the tongue of immense negativity. These creatures they're attracted to the bad character. As soon as somebody is lending themselves to their anger, to their badness, to their inability to extinguish their fire and regain their calmness, these creatures means they're ravaging inside that person. They're entering and they're feeding off and people just doesn't, don't understand and there's not a tongue to describe how this process works. The more they find somebody with a little bit of spirituality that can get angry, stay angry, they're sitting and feeding off of you. They're taking that energy and they're feeding off of that energy. They begin to call all of those creatures. <coughs> Imagine people who have a rat problem and take your trash, leave it in your living room. Say, I can't throw it out, I'll put it in my living room. How many rats you'd have in that living room in no time because it's feeding time. When they see the characteristic, you're allowing the anger, you're allowing these energies to come, they're coming to feed off of it. They take more and more from that negativity and anger and all of the bad characteristics until that person begins to make all the wrong choices, all the wrong and that's when Allah opened a different door. Say, you may be not meant to rise and you're not choosing to go towards the heavens, you're taking your destiny of fire and the nafsani bad characteristic and there's one waiting for you now to take you. 
he's gathering his, his circus and his zoo. It's not a barn, heavenly kingdom and Sayyidina Mahdi is not interested in the zoo. He comes as a zookeeper this Dajjal, comes to the people in their dream begin to gather them and your good conscience and your soul and heart is petrified by the existence of that person coming towards you. And they're making every attempt to move towards you and that's a warning from the Divine the Presence. Whatever you're doing you're on the wrong radar. Whatever characteristics you have they're pleasing to Him and not to Allah So tariqah is coming and warning that make your tafakkur, make your contemplations, make your good characteristics, your money won't save you. In the hands of Dajjal your entire existence and being will be turned around. Make your contracts now, make your characteristics now, do the practices, make the wudu, wash when you're angry, meditate, contemplate, pray, put your head into sujood, asking for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And That's why they taught the love. We say that other people are asking, what about this Imran, what about that one who talks about Akhir Zaman, talk about this Akhir Zaman. And these people are the official hadith translators. They know Arabic. When somebody translates the hadith of the last days, bravo, we all read it. But if you don't give the solution to everything on this earth, the only solution against Dajjal is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad If somebody's mouth is not saying that and saying it a hundred percent of the time, run, run. Why his tongue can't be mentioned when Allah says, we don't allow our name to be mentioned on their tongue. They're repeating whatever they want, they repeat the hadith a thousand times but if they don't give the equation at the end, if all day long I tell you 2 plus 2 is, 2 plus 2 is, 2 plus 2 is and you say, bravo this is amazing this guy knows 2 plus 2. No he doesn't, he just told you 2 plus 2, he didn't tell you what 4 was. He's just reading a formula for you, what was the answer? The hadiths have an answer, they're not just statements. Iqtarab as wait for the clock, awliya came and said, do you see the clock now? There was an answer to that question, it's right there big. This tower of Saruman that he built in the middle of nowhere, the answer came. The answer to every difficulty is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is the armour and shield of the believer. That when Allah want to activate onto this earth, this staff is more powerful than all their snakes and all their dragons. If Allah activate the asa of Sayyidina Muhammad when Allah grant the reality of that my hand is on your hand and his hand is upon the hand and Allah's hand on over them. When Allah grant the reality of the bayah, imagine the one whom holds the asa of Sayyidina Muhammad This is from the reality of Janab al Hu. The Hu Allah will never be seen. But the reflection of Hu that is visible for creation. That Hu and the He and the Wow of Hu is the hidayat of love. And these are the guides of muhabbat and love. They answer to Janab al and to Janab al Haq. They answer and bring everybody back to the presence of that love and muhabbat. Because in their wujud is who, in their wujud is hidayat and guidance that all their characteristics are under the guidance and openings of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah made them to be from wow. Everything about them is love, Divinely love and calling people back to that Divinely love. 
if somebody is teaching you something but not calling you back to Divinely Love is not from the who, he's from a different who. Now do you see on earth, wake up now, what do you see on earth? Who? They're about to kill many people. We see a different who on earth. If you don't think this is a reality, why is shaitan copying it? When I'm telling you the one of the heavens, his name is Sayyidina Muhammad and he is who? The one who didn't make it and he fell to earth, he made his own group called who? And they spell it W-H-O. When Nabi Musa came to fight them and the Pharaonic empire, Allah gave him a asa from Sayyidina Muhammad This is enough for you kafi, it's enough. When they throw their magic, release your staff and became a dragon of Jahannam. Ate their magic and their magicians made sujood. Wasn't another snake, it was from Sayyidina Malik's reality and Zabani's that merely he threw his staff and it came to its reality from Malik al-Jabbar, enough to eat all their magic and all of them on that earth. So what you see now in their logos, they think they have a asa but theirs is with a snake. They're trying to say, we have a izzah too. But my Lord beat you up thousand years ago when his staff opened and a dragon came out and you still have the same ridiculous snakes and they don't scare anyone. But that's all they have is snakes and that's why they show, oh look we have a asa and a snake that runs next to it, we also have magic or who? That's why it's in their logo. That we have support, our asa we have a support and we have our snakes. The snake was the vehicle in which brought Bani Adam onto earth. The snake was the creature in heaven that gave himself to let shaitan enter into his mouth to go and make deceit within paradise and to bring the heavenly kingdom to be thrown onto earth, to bring the, az the qadab of Allah and Allah cursed that creature and took away its arms and limbs and gave it its, its form as it is now that just slides on its belly and speaks with a forked tongue. That creature and that staff have no power and they're now going to dictate to the world what they have to take to live and what to, to die. Everything is already unfolding upon this earth but do we have ears to hear? and eyes to see. Whatever anyone is teaching, if they're not teaching to go and run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad how to make that connection, how to ask for that connection, then they're not completing the formula and they're not a part of the solution, they're actually a part of the problem. If you're not a part of the solution then by virtue of opposites you are actually a part of the problem. You're just propagating whatever you're propagating. But now the earth needs to know the solution. For people of the heavenly kingdom run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and then find those doors. Ulul Bab, Allah called them, they are servants of the door. They carry the door into the presence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad on this earth. And the reality is to give you your encoded understandings. As soon as you make du'a and say, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum, it's a code. It's a code to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad from the Malakut reality that grant me a nijad, grant me your intercession, take away my bad characteristics. Before Allah opens the door and says, no more testing, 
you've given yourself to a fiery existence then walk into that existence. We pray that Allah give us eyes to see everything is already opening upon the earth. Anyone living abroad and your country sending you home, go home, run to your homes. That Middle East is going to be all on fire, stay away from those regions. Go back to your homes in Pakistan, go back to your homes where you belong and stay out of the regions where you don't belong. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and protect us. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.